Hello everybody, welcome back to Sketch Saturday. I know I haven't uploaded anything in a while, and I know that hindsight had already put a gap in between my upload schedule, but please forgive me for the love of everything. I work full time, and when I get home I'm so tired, so 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 tired. So doing these does take effort, I don't just speed up the recording, I actually go back through and make sure that there's no, you know, tab outs or anything like that. But these take time, and they take heart, and they take so much of my emotion to put into it. Because I tried to do this probably around six different times, recording the actual drawing itself, the subject matter of the drawing itself, the voiceover. I think this is my fourth or fifth take by this point. So these do take time to make, even though they are very hasty in, you know, the fact that it's a speed draw and also it's not exactly the most story intensive or well scripted thing that I've made. Uh, in the meantime though, you'll notice that I'm using color for once, which is a big surprise I'd assure most of you would be quite, uh, quite excited at the fact that I'm actually deciding to put more than black and white on a canvas. And I mean, I've heard that argument so many times throughout my life. I am very, very sworn to graphite, charcoal, lead pencils, things like that. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's what I grew up with, it's what I'm most comfortable with, and I was speaking to somebody and they said that you gotta get out of your comfort zone sometimes, and I think that they're right. I don't know if next week's thing is gonna be in color as well. I probably won't do it because <laughs> I was fighting with myself to get through this. I, I'm not a fan of colors, I don't do pastel often, blending, it's just so difficult. And even in a digital medium, it's difficult. It's just, uh, for any of you out there who are, you know, artists in your own craft, you understand how uh, challenging it can be to move laterally to other areas of whatever medium you choose to, you know, embrace. And even if that just means deciding to blow glass in a different formation than you usually do, it can be a very almost intimidating and, and like it, it pushes you back. You, you think to yourself, wow. I'm really not familiar with this, and that's all I was thinking as I was trying to do this. This haloing along the cloud edges here. And, you know, these are these massive cumulonimbus, like, cloud towers, these big, big, big horizon band style of clouds, and it's just... I don't know if I got the majesty right, <laughs> but I ended up taking out this uh, ugly orange haloing that you see me blending out very carefully here. It just didn't turn out how I wanted it to, and I need to do a little bit more work in color before I start going full, <laughs> full into my whole Dutch painting school and all that nonsense. However, if you are one who uses any of these apps on your computer, I use Photoshop if, if the thumbnail wasn't enough to tell, uh, but I use Photoshop. But if you use any of these, you know, drawing apps on your computer, you know how finicky working with any sort of coloration can be. And as you move on, you'll adapt and you'll learn what the little tricks and secrets are. And what I was saying in my last video, just kind of throw yourself into the deep end and try out new techniques. It is very much that every time I come in and I decide to use color. And I have a few drawings that I've done in the past that are color. They, uh, I guess they kind of worked out in, in some degree, some respect, some way or another. Um, few people I've seen those I've pushed them around on, on social media and you know I, I guess they've they've received some reception to it but uh, I just I really prefer black and white and here I, I snuck in a little bit of that that graphite and charcoal by drawing that little radio mast on the on the mountaintop there uh, but for any of you who know me you understand that you know seascapes and uh, seaside scenes are something that I've drawn a lot. The first few versions of this were actually, you know, cliffs, and I felt that it was a bit too samey, and even if you're somebody who doesn't care what it is that I draw, you just like the looking at the speed paint, I didn't want to, you know, basically just be running through a refresher course for me on things that I already know how to draw. And if you're an up-and-coming, you know, personal hobbyist artist always just take a minute or two to think is this something that I've done before and does me doing this 
help me grow or am I just working in my comfort zone? Because you can never actually adapt and broaden your artistic horizon. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a, it's a horizon shot. But you're not going to be able to grow if you don't test yourself a little bit and throw yourself into the deep end. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because there's water. <laughs> That's pretty good, I think. <laughs> I think the general message of what I'm trying to say is getting is getting muddied by my terrible dry humor. <laughs> um, but yeah, just test yourself. You know, put yourself on, on the, the hot seat with your art and you'll find that even though you might get a little bit, you know, nervous and uncomfortable working on it, it might turn out nice. And I guess this did too. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and have a good one. Hope to see you soon.